my case, I guess I was not deserving of the luck from the musicians of Bremen. I gotta wake up to this view this morning in a cozy little wooden cabin. Ah, beautiful. This is how Thames is every morning. She rushes me out of bed and then I'm still waiting for her. And here she comes. Was I worth the wait? Of course. What a beautiful morning here in Riga. We are currently headed to the house of blackheads. It's not a pimple. I'll show you when we get there. <laughs> that was so late. <laughs> As usual, everything in Riga is just a stone throw away. We're already here after one minute of walking. The house of blackheads. Times is gonna give us a reason why it's called the house of blackheads. So after much further research, I actually found out that there was an association here called the Brotherhood of Blackheads, which was an association of unmarried foreign traders chiefly of low German descent and then that's when the name was shortened to Blackheads. So this association of unmarried men created huge parties, it was kind of like the socialites of the back in the days where everyone would come gather, party and have a good jolly old time. Would anyone like the keys to the city? We're now on our way to Riga Castle. The houses here are really cool. On the way to the Riga Castle, we found this big building and it turns out it's a must-see. It's called the Riga Cathedral. It looks amazing. Very this is what we do at a cathedral. <laughs> You look dizzy. Just, just a smidgen. This is Tamron's new friend. I think he's Hedwig from Harry Potter. Very good resemblance. What do you think? Now we're off to the Riga Castle again. So this building behind me that doesn't look like a castle is called Riga Castle. It's actually where the president resides and it's also a national museum. These guards, they're also at work, but imagine you're spending your whole day just standing, straight face, no communication. And you've got a tourist like Tam just recording. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? We are now on our way to the central market to just try to find some food. And some people, we actually kind of notice why this place is uh, very quiet because there's only how many people? There's only 1.7 million in the whole country. So we're just wondering where everyone is, unless they're all at work. <laughs> yeah, it's so quiet, but even yesterday was a Sunday, quiet. Yeah, and we stay in the heart of the city. And it the didn't feel like anything was beaten yesterday. <laughs> Turn right. So it's the GPS says it's a short 20 minute walk and then we'll get to the central market. I don't know why there's so many flags there, but if you didn't know which country you're in, now you know this is Latvia.
and off with his head. So Central Market is next to the bus station that we came from yesterday. Checks how cool this bike is. It's got a V7 engine in there. This thing <laughs> must go really fast. <laughs> After getting constantly distracted on the way here, I think it took us 40 instead of 20 minutes, but we made it. Central Market, here we are. We have found all the people. They were all hiding out at Central Market. Apparently the Central Market has about 100,000 visitors a day and I'm guessing they're all locals. Buying their fresh vegetables, fish. Foods, uh, pastries, dog food, flowers, everything. souvenirs, everything. So if you're ever looking for anything, this is a place to come to. It's right next to the bus station. So if you're not sure where to go, if Google Maps is giving you problems, just go to the bus station and follow all the people. And not only that, is these buildings were actually previously uh, Zeppelin hangars, otherwise known as blimps. And what's so cool about that is they've just converted them now into the central market for us to hang out. We're gonna go try and find some food. We saw a couple of pastry shops. We just wanna research to see what's traditional because there was a, a lot of food that we can it's choose from. It's overwhelming. We didn't even know what to look at. There's the five Zeppelins. One, two, three, four, five. And it uh, looks like a lot of the restaurants have been closed down. I think COVID did take a bit of a hit here because a lot of restaurants are actually closed. So with a lot of the shops being closed, uh, I think they actually closed down. A lot of the places that we research are actually temporarily closed. I think it's due to COVID. So we found another place called Lido. Apparently they serve traditional food and we're on our way that side. But Tams is just getting some pastries. She said some of the pastries look delicious. There's our lunch. Cheese cooking. This is the traditional rye bread thingy. Pudding. This is the traditional meat ball thing. This is... A pancake with meat, a pancake with spinach and cottage cheese. And this is that beetroot soup thing. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm not a beetroot person, but so maybe that's why I don't like it, but it's not bad. Tamron went back to fill up the whole cup, because you pay per cup, you don't pay by weight. And she like, pulled it to the top. Mm. The mash is nice. The mash is amazing. The meatballs really, really good. And Nick's face is more priceless. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not like crispy, like I, was, I, I thought it would be, but it's like very soft. Mm. Meat is really nice. It's yeah. onion, eh? It's meat and onion, or mince and onion in a pancake. It's really delicious. Yeah, oh, yeah. it's actually a pancake. This is the last dish, this is our dessert. Apparently this is rye bread. And I think that's cream. 
I really hope this is good. It's okay, it's got a well, I think I think it's got jam in it. It's got a not a tangy flavor, but like a sourish flavor. Like there's a fruits jam in it, and then this is cream, which is really nice. Can't really taste the rye bread. Doesn't really taste like there's bread in there. So we've just done eating at the Lido. Uh, it was an interesting experience. Mm -hmm. um, it's more like a cafeteria type of vibe where you basically get a tray and then you just pick what you want and each item has its own price on it. Yeah. Overall, I think there was a lot of locals there. I think mainly there was only locals there. I didn't actually see any tourists. So I think that is the local food. Tams and I, uh, don't have the local uh, taste buds. Yeah. yeah. We're now at the park that we were at yesterday and it's the sun's out so we just wanted to sit here relax relax this park is really nice and we're just watching some of these guys work on like the dam area and just reminded us of when we were building our house it hard looks, work it looks easy but it's it's a lot of hard work that's for sure we're going to be headed back soon i know we said that earlier but it's so nice here. I just want to stay here. Yeah. Tam says she needs some dame chocolates now. Mm. So we're going to go get some dame chocolates on our way back. You ready, Tams? Let's go. Yes, that is smooth, dude. <laughs> Sexy, <huh? laughs> I think this is a town square thing. And give us a dance, Tam. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Got the chocolate. Yay! And now we're on our way back. So why is a donkey a dog? A cat and a rooster so famous? It's because they actually come from the fairy tale Brothers Grimm. And they were given by a Bremen in Germany to Latvia. And that's where they originate from. But they're now called the musicians of Bremen. So there's actually a little legend about it. And if you're able to rub all four noses, you get good luck. So wish me luck that I can get this luck. One, two, <laughs> You're not gonna get that one. Watch me. <laughs> okay, I cave. I guess I was not deserving of the luck from the musicians of Bremen. In this quaint little street, we stay on that second floor and that third floor. We have made it back with Tamarin's chocolate. Yeah. Overall impressions of Latvia or Riga on our second day, it's really nice. It's really cool. It's got a really nice, relaxed vibe. Yeah. 
Uh, you could literally sit at the park all day. Exactly. And uh, walk around. I mean, it's really nice because it's small, but it's also not really nice because it's small. If that makes sense. Like, it's really nice that it's small, so everything is, like, really Within close to each distance, other. Yeah. You don't have to, like, break your legs to get to a, to a place, like in Paris or, or other countries. Um, but it's also not much to do because you can get everything done so quickly. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense.